Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer full force. So today guys I just got back from vacation literally a few minutes ago and I I, I want to make this video for you guys So I'm sorry. I haven't really been the most active when it comes to videos I try to upload as many as I possibly could it's just very difficult to do so when you're on vacation You know you're trying to explore new places and everything and I'll discuss more about the vacation and the second channel So I'll have a link in the description below to my second channel where I'll discuss more about the vacation stuff because like I said this is football channel and that is obviously not football anyways getting back to the video we're going to discuss about Barcelona's season preview so today I'll give you guys around like a 10 to 15 minute preview of what I expect for Barcelona to do this season and all of the competitions and I'll give you guys my consensus so let me know your expectations of Barcelona in the new season as well and then I'll give some bonus predictions as well like you know top score top assister you know um you know um, those kind of other miscellaneous stuff essentially let's get through the main comps first though so the main comp i have first one it is la liga let's start with la liga for me barcelona should be winning la liga i i fully expect them to win la liga real madrid just don't look that great now and they just look weak you know especially with quarto tearing his acl they haven't really found that striker and I feel like Real Madrid is going to have, they're going to struggle a lot this season. And especially with their desire of trying to get back, uh, trying to win the Champions League, I feel as though that Ancelotti is just not going to do it. I just don't think, you know. And like I said, Atletico Madrid, I just don't think they can do it. I, I just don't think Atletico Madrid is that consistent enough to challenge Barcelona. Although I do think they are going to improve. And I do think that the loss of, um, you know, I think them not having Joao Felix. You know, Joao Felix will probably be sold by the end of the summer window. I think that's going to greatly benefit them. But, um, yeah, Barcelona has to win La Liga for me. Now, for the Champions League. Oh, boy. This is where things get very difficult. We've been placed in pot one of the draw. And that theoretically means we should have an easy, easy br route, bracket. I mean, sorry, easy group. But here's the thing, guys. Just because we're in pot one doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get an easy group. That is not a guarantee. In fact, I was looking at the possible pots for Barcelona, and it could be very tricky. We could be playing against Inter, Manchester United. We could also be potentially playing against uh, Porto. There are some tricky teams out there, guys. And you know, and what's very key for Barcelona is it's not really the pot two team; it's more the pot three team. That's what's going to determine Barcelona's fate because it's actually been the pot three team that's actually sent us to the Europa League in the last two seasons. Inter. And um, Benfica, respectively, because they were seeded pot three for the draw, and that's where my concern is: is that that we could be playing against those pot three teams in particular. So, like I said, for Barcelona, bare minimum should be round of sixteen. We really, honestly, should be making the quarterfinals. But I'm going to keep expectations low. I want to not be too optimistic, and I'm going to say a round of sixteen ex exit. If we can get to the round of sixteen, I'm generally satisfied with that. We, we just can't go to the Europa League. We cannot go to the Europa League for the third season in a row. And if that happens, I'm sorry, Xavi has to be sacked on the spot. I don't care I don't care if we're like unbeaten La Liga. I don't care. He has to be sacked on the spot if we um, go to the Europa League. Okay? And then next up, it is the Copa del Rey. Copa del Rey is interesting, guys. It's interesting. I will say this for Copa del Rey. We have to... See, my thing with the Copa del Rey is this. We should only view this, this is my opinion at least. Only view this as a winning, only view this as a must win thing if, we can, if we're if we like out of the La Liga race. Let's say hypothetically we've been in so bad at La Liga. We need something to salvage the season when we know we can't win the Champions League. That I will go all in for the Copa del Rey. Otherwise, I will just see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. Let's just see how the scheduling goes. Because that's the tricky thing guys with the Copa del Rey is that. It depends on how the schedule is. I would say bare minimum should be quarterfinals. We should be making quarterfinals of Copa del Rey. Really, honestly, the semis. I'm going to say quarters for now because we need to see who we get in the quarterfinal draw. But I will say we bare minimum should be making the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey, guys. And now, we have uh, the Spanish Super Cup. I'll be really honest with you guys. I It's hard to say for this one. I think for this um, one, guys... I hope we can, um, you know, win it, obviously. Because let's be real. We're going to play against Real Madrid in the final. And let's be real. We should be winning the Copa del Rey. I mean, not sorry, Copa del Rey. Spanish Super Cup. We realistically have done really well against Real Madrid in the recent El Clasico head-to-head -head meetings. 
And I just feel like for me, we have Madrid's number, you know. And I think Xavi knows how to beat Real Madrid, you know. And as there's a saying goes, guys, I got I, I put this on Twitter. It's like kind of like a banter thing. I got 99 problems, but Real, beating Real Madrid ain't one of the problems. Like it was it was funny, you know. <laughs> but yeah, realistically speaking, guys, I expect us to win the um the um what is it called the Super Cup. So to wrap things up overall, guys, all the competitions wise, I expect us to win La Liga. I expect a semifinal finish, quarterfinal finish of the Copa del Rey. I expect to win the Super Cup, and I expect us to be making the round of 16 of the Champions League. I think those are reasonable expectations. I don't think it's too far-fetched. And now we're going to do my top three best players to look out for and top three worst players, and um, then we'll do our, you know, goal scores. Let's do the goal score one. Obviously, Lewandowski will score the most goals for us. He is still very influential to this team. I know a lot of people have been really, really critical of him in his second half of last season, which is understandable, but I feel like there's not gonna, there's not going to be a World Cup this time, you know. So there is really I feel like this time around he won't have that break, you know. And I feel like Lewandowski will perform very well this season. You know, he's still very vital to this team, goal scoring wise, and as a leader as well. I feel like he's very very important to this team. Without him, we wouldn't we we wouldn't be where we are without him, you know. Then um the second top score I have I'm just gonna do top three. Mm, I'm going to say, this is going to be a really far-fetched take. And I might really regret saying this. So, I I, 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 I'm, 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 I should probably prepare for some receipts, in case some people have receipts of this. <laughs> I am going to go with Ansu Fati. And no, it's a bit of a hinge. It's a bit of a, a wild card. And it's probably unpopular pick. I feel like Ansu Fati is going to have our breakouts. I feel like he's going to revitalize this season. With the loss of Usman Dembele, I think he's going to be given more game time. And I think Xavi will give him more faith. And I feel like he will finally be the player that we wanted him to be. Because like I said before, guys, you know the player that Vinicius is right now? A lot of people thought Ansu Fati would be him, like him. It's just that Vinicius has done it in a much faster rate. And has done it in a more world class ability than Fati has done. So I feel like Fati will finally showcase the world that what he's capable of doing. So I'm gonna say he's gonna be second. And the third I have is Victor Roque. Obviously Victor Roque, man, the guy is incredible. You know, Atletico Paranaise. And even though he's gonna be joining January, I think he'll be very very important for us. You know, coming off the bench, getting those crucial goals, getting those stoppage time winners, and you know, tying goals, etc. You know, being a very crucial part of the bench. You know, super sub, essentially, as I was trying to say. All right, now we have the top three best players. Now, this is going to be very interesting, very interesting. All right. Um, for me, actually, you know, let's not do best players. Let's do top three players to look out for. I would rather do that. Because I feel like we already know the best. Well, actually, yeah, let's do top three players to look out for. I'd rather do that. So, I think one player we have to look out for this season is Yamal. Yamal was fantastic, especially against Spurs. The way he came on and changed the game against Spurs, it was unbelievable. So for me, he's going to be one of the breakout players. I think he's going to be very, very good this season. I think he's going to be amazing. Number two is someone I didn't really even expect to say, and I'm still not really convinced, but I think he's going to have a good season. I think he's going to prove a lot of haters wrong, especially me, and that is Oral Romeo. I think Romeo has been pretty good for us in preseason. Now, granted, it is preseason, so we have to put things in perspective barometer-wise that, you know, preseason and actual competitiveness is very different. But I feel like, for me, the way he's been good in preseason has been really, really fantastic. So I feel like he's going to have a good season this season, breakout season. And then finally, my third player that I have, it's good, tricky, 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 is I already kind of mentioned earlier is Ansu Fadi. I think Ansu Fadi will have a breakout season. So... Now we're going to do my top three best players, then we'll do worse, and then we'll wrap things up. So my top three best players I have for this season is number one. And no, I'm not going to really do this in particular order. I'm just going to just name the three. Pedri, of course, is one of our most important players. I think he's going to be uh, our one of our most critical players. You know, he brings so much creativity to the team, brings so much impact, you know, flair, technique. That I think is very, very important. Obviously, Ronald Araujo is also very important. And Mark Hunt is your second. So, I feel like these three will be undoubtedly our best three players throughout the season. Honorable mentions go to Andreas Christensen. I think he's going to have a great season. Alejandro Balde is an honorable mention. I think um, Lewandowski is also an honorable mention. You could also put him in the top three. And the honorable mentions go to um, Frankie DeYoung. I think Frankie DeYoung deserves an honorable mention. Now, worst players. Players I don't think will perform... I'm, Actually, you know what? Let's do top three players I think will disappoint. 
in this season. Let's do that, actually. Uh, first one, this might be a very controversial take, and a lot of you guys may get very mad at me saying this, is Ilkay Gundogan. I honestly feel, given how he was in preseason, I don't think he's going to be great for us this season. Now, is it going to be as bad as I'm making it up to be like, we're going to try to, you know, he's going to be terrible, terrible. I just feel like he's going to disappoint. He's not going to live up to expectations. So I still think he's going to have a good season, just not like he won't be as good as we thought he would be. And then number two is, um, I feel like for me, um, Gabby. I feel like Gabby won't be that great this season. So that will be my second pick. And then my third pick is Jules Kunde. I feel like these three players will disappoint for us, for me this season. And the worst players, you guys already know, it's Marcus Alonso, of course. Obviously, um, he's got to be in there. Long lay, of course. And obviously, Sergio Dest. So, I hope that that wraps up this video. We round around 11 minutes. So, I think that's a good, concise um, video recording length. So, let me know your um, expectation of Barca in the comments below, guys. And like I said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out. Remember, guys, to become a member of the channel to get access to members' videos and members' streams.